Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislowati. I'm an excellent barbier enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create simple waterfall chart that can help you compare sales data across three given periods. Just a quick recap from my previous video where I have shown you a Power BI report where we can compare sales across three selected periods. Users can input the period that they want to compare using the three slicers of here, one for period one, period two, and period three. And then at the bottom, we have a sales waterfall where we can compare sales for period one, period two, and period three, and also visualize the variances by city across the three period. In my previous video, I've also shown you how to create a spatial data module that has three date tables because we want to compare data across three different periods. If you are only wanting to compare data across two different periods, then you only need two date table. In my previous videos, I've also shown you how to write the DAX so that we can create the measures required for our sales waterfall. We need three sales measures for P1, P2, and P3, and then we need two sets of variance measures, one set to compare variances from period two to period one, and then another set for period three versus period two, eight in totals, and 11 after you add the three for the pillars. If you need a refresher on how to create the relevant data model and measures, feel free to watch my previous videos. If you already know how to create your own measures, let's get started. There are eight steps required to create the waterfall. Step one is to download simple waterfall visuals. It is not part of your standard visualization, so if you haven't done so, you need to first click these three dots, click get more visuals, and then type in simple waterfall, and then click that, and then wait until it's finished loading to download the information, and then click add like that. Once the download is completed, click Simple Waterfall Visuals and then type in Sales in that data section so that we can see the relevant measures that we need to create our pillar. So I'm going to click all three and notice when I click them, they are automatically added to the value section over here. So Sales P1 and P2 and P3 will become our pillar later. Next, let's move on to step three. We're going to find our variance measures. Our variances are by city, so I'm going to type Brisbane, and then I'm going just to click both variance between period two and one, and variance between period three and two. And then we're going to do the same for other cities. In this instance, Melbourne, and then Sydney, And Perth. Okay, now we're going to arrange them neatly so that all the variances two to ones are in between period one and period two. And then all the variances between period three and period two are grouped together like that. So now they are neater but it doesn't quite look like a waterfall yet because we need to first properly set up the pillars. And that's what we're going to do in the next step. Next, let's format the pillars, click the visuals, and then go to Format Visual Pane, and then click Define Pillars, and then turn on all the pillars, which is all Sales P1, 2, and 3. Now we have our pillars. But they're in blue and I don't like that color. Let's change the color so that it is gray like that. So much nicer. Next, let's format the text, format the labels of these waterfall charts. How do we do that? Click the waterfall visuals and then just double click this and shorten it to, let's say, Brisbane like that and then Melbourne, and then Sydney, and Perth. And then do the same thing. Oh, look at that. 
What happened? When we use the same name, suddenly the waterfall is all over the place. So we cannot use the same name. To overcome that, just put space like that. Okay, hold on. What's wrong with my pie? Okay, put space. Enter. So much better. Now all looking really nice. And then next step, let's fix up the title that is not very informative. Go to general title and then let's just make it simple. Sales waterfall like that. If you want the title to be in the middle, just click center. Very nice. The last thing that I want to do is to remove the y-axis because we already have the data labels. Sometimes less is more, so let's just make our charts cleaner. Click the visuals y-axis and then turn it off. Voila, so much nicer. We have now completed our sales waterfall. Let's test it. Let's select a different period. Oh, look at that. The waterfall is changing dynamically. How awesome. I hope you find this video useful. See you next time.